Hello, everyone. My name is Xiao Han, a second-year PhD student in Renmin University of China. Today, I'd like to share you with my recent work about misinformation in the novel coronavirus. Here are four parts of my talk. The first is the background. Since the outbreak of novel coronavirus in 2020, misinformation or rumors have become increasingly prevalent with the popularity of online social networks. The World Health Organization also considers it as a mass information disease. In order to explore whether and how the cultural factors affected the perception and behavior of social media rumors when Chinese citizens face in public health emergencies again, we propose the concept of cultural heuristics. Different from previous studies, we focus on Chinese citizens. And here are the top words about traditional Chinese medicine or others in social media reports. In this section, we discuss the process of participant recruitment, summarize the data generation process. Due to the strict protection and isolation of most communities during the epidemic period, our field experiment is advertised through online social media, which has been widely used in related research. The experimental date is from February 1st to February 7th. In order to ensure the diversity of the sample, 12 active social media users aged between 20 and 55 were recruited. Each interviewee is identified by assigning a unique ID. The interview lasted 20 to 30 minutes. In addition, some participants chose to review their social media history or shopping records to evoke details of their personal experience as memory aids. We use grounded theory process to analyze transcriptional interviews and qualitative surveys following three stages of open coding, axial coding, and selective coding. The core elements of grounded theory provide an appropriate research process for studying the effects on people's social media attitudes and behaviors. Now I will briefly summarize our findings and results. The first one is four specific rumors that has been refuted so far. The title reads, New Discovery, Shuanghonglian Oral Liquid Can Inhibit Novel Coronavirus which was published on the social accounts of People's Daily, The Global Times, and other media on January 31st. The findings show that most of the interviewees talked about their attitudes towards Chinese medicine, drugs, or treatments. Their perspective include the essence of China's medical science and intangible culture, panic buying of Shuang Huanglian, the connection and difference between Chinese and Western medicine. And someone also gives an example from the perspective of his own experience. Taking the phenomenon of rush buying Shuang Honglian as a representative, we expand our discussion by exchanging news reports and rumors related to traditional Chinese culture. Findings show that everyone seems to maintain a supportive or neutral view, especially among middle-aged people. Methods related to traditional Chinese culture proposed by social media are particularly popular and more likely to be trusted. Different cultural cognition and health literacy also affect citizens' attitudes towards judging online public opinion, especially the collective behavior and special historical contest. Finally, we conclude that cultural heuristics plays a significant role in attitude and behavior. We also find that individuals really choose to make a comprehensive judgment of news reports based on fact understanding, cognitive level, and historical and cultural background which they have experienced, and they also have a tendency of collective behavior. We hope our work will help to understand the source of Chinese public opinion and the cultural motivation behind people's attitudes and behaviors. Okay, that's all. It's my pleasure to introduce my work to you. Thank you for your attention.